Good afternoon, folks. The sun stepped up its game even more since we spoke nearly 36 hours ago. We've got more flares and CMEs, so let's begin with what we know is coming and then go over the new eruptions. We watched this sequence yesterday and we can see several eruptive events. While none broke past C-class range, they produced at least two CMEs in Earth's direction. NOAA's Enlil Spiral clearly shows the double impact, although from a geomagnetic perspective that would act more like one longer one of high density. Alas, it's only a model, but they should arrive in relative succession. Then, just a few hours after the morning show, the M-class flares began, culminating with a large one that occurred this morning. These flares were produced by the Southern Active Region, which grew and created such surface disturbances that it tore the coronal hole in half. While NASA's Enlil Spiral only shows one CME at a time, and NOAA's is not quite updated to show the events of the last day and a half, at least one and probably two of those newer events pushed plasma our way. Meaning that following the first two eruptions, we will indeed get a follow-up impact, and it's likely to occur during elevated geomagnetic conditions. The chances of extreme geomagnetic storms are still small, but not out of possibility. We are almost sure to get some solid geomagnetic activity from these, and don't forget the coronal hole stream is going to be in there too. There will almost surely be an uptick in electrical issues during and in the day following geomagnetic activity. The normal health impact will be amplified for at-risk cardiac and psychological patients. Emotional instability and cognitive decline is known to be imparted on our complex mental states during these events, with stronger storms meaning that the autoimmune, seizure, and migraine risks will be up as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 3 p.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.